Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with a really marvelous box that, believe it or not, I haven't talked about before, although I've talked about its contents as they have been spread out amongst other boxes. It's this thing, Ravel Piano and Orchestral Works on Warner Errata. And, I mean, the, the piano works are Samson Francois, Samson Francois, and the orchestral works are André Cluitas with the Paris Conservatory Orchestra. And the piano concertos have both of them. Pretty, pretty cool, isn't it? This is a marvelous, marvelous set. Now, a lot of this stuff was in, you know, Warner's big complete Ravel box. So we talked about it there. We've talked about some individual performances in our ideal Ravel orchestral works or the Daphnis and Chloe chat. This stuff has appeared. They are classic performances. They really are. But let's start with the piano stuff. Now, Samson Francois, if we say in English, or Sanson Francois, as you would say en français, um, was a, a marvelous pianist in this repertoire. He really was. He was a little nuts. And as he, you know, he sort of was famously sort of, you know, like, used a lot of um, substances, let's put it that way, to help him get through the day. And toward the end of his life, um, which wasn't that long because he was kind of, you know, abusive of those substances, he, he started to deteriorate. His technique deteriorated and he could be, he could be, you know, marvelous one day and like just a mess the next. But most of the time he was pretty great and his Ravel is pretty marvelous. I mean, there are some works he was really known for like Gaspar de la Nuit, which is just fabulous. I think you get it here like twice or something. I don't know. You get bits of it. Um, now there it is, Gaspard de la Nuit. Now just once in this case, but in the in the Samson Francois box, there's there's an extra an extra Scarbo hanging around and some other things. Anyway, he was very very fine, and this is a very good series of Ravel piano music. He is also, along with Cuitans, my reference, the version de référence. My however choice for the piano concertos. Those are just amazing performances, as fresh as the day the music was written. Just tremendous. So that you're going to want to have no matter what, and you may have it separately already. I mean, I do. But to have the piano music and the orchestral works together really is wonderful, because most of Ravel's orchestral music was a transcription of his piano music or at least a lot of it was. And so you get both, and it's like really cool. You can compare. I mean, some of these pieces are just transcriptions of things. You know, Mother Goose was, well, that was for piano two hands, so it's not in here, sorry. And let's see, the Tombeau de Couperin and the, the El Barata del Gracioso and Un Barque sur l'Océan and the Pavan and, and, and oh, the Vals Noble, all that stuff is in here and the piano original. So it's really fun to listen to both. Anyway, why are these performances so great? Well, let's, let's keep it very simple. The Paris Conservatory Orchestra was, of course, born to play this music. That's what they did. I mean, they were the hometown team. Now, that doesn't mean, that often doesn't mean that they're going to be the best at it. And the Paris Conservatory Orchestra could be absolutely dreadful, often in French music. It depended on who the conductor was and whether they get along whether they were getting along and where the recording was made. You know, EMI, Warner, I mean, you know, this is so typical of the way, the way these things operated back then, denied France their stereo equipment for quite some years um, in the 1950s, in, insisting that it was only to be used for recordings made in the UK and stuff in France had to remain in mono, which is just, I mean, you know, why, right? But that's what they did. Anyway, so the French recordings tended to be a little bit subfusk technically for a while until they caught up. But by the time they made these, they had, because this was the early 60s. It was the very end of Cuitin's career with the Paris Conservatory Orchestra. Um, it was, this was a labor of love series. You know, they were showing what a French orchestra could do playing French music at the highest level. One of the things that makes these performances just so fascinating is the tension between the, the sensuality of sound that Ravel, you know, commands, you know, his, his sexy treatment of the orchestra and the actual timbre of the orchestra, which is actually very lean 
it was, you know, the strings are kind of wiry. The woodwinds have this, this beautiful light sec, you know, dry quality about them. The brass is very tangy with lots of vibrato and the trumpets and the horns. It's a very, very different sound from what we're used to. But it, it, it suits Ravel's music to the extent that, I mean, you will, you will hear more luscious recordings of this music, but they are extremely precise and fresh and, and rhythmically adroit. And, and, and beyond that, they have this, they have this fabulously undifer, un, this fabulously differentiated, but not undifferentiated, just the opposite, differentiated timbre, so that nothing blends with anything else in the sense that you lose the individual strands of the orchestration. It makes the music sound so clear and transparent and and just vivid. It's it's wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful. And so I I cannot recommend this set highly enough. If you don't have the Cuitan stuff separately from some other source, or the Samson Samson Francois piano music from some other box. I mean, this stuff is just floating around all over the place. It really is, but it is wonderful. That's why it's floating around all over the place. And this is an inexpensive six CDs, you know, that you might as well have your hands on. It's also kind of handy to have it under R instead of in some big box stuck someplace else, you know, some doorstop or something somewhere. So there you go. Amazing Ravel. Well, well worth having. So keep on listening, friends. Thank you for joining me. Take care.